welcome to yet another Terranscapes video. Uh, this video showcases the Urban Barricades, which were released actually with the uh, Ruined City set uh, sometime in the past. But I'm going to put them up on the site as an individual item, and I just wanted to highlight a couple key features of them um, so that people could understand them a little bit better. Uh, these are based on a Jersey Barricade design somewhat. Uh, Jersey Barriers have a lip in the front. I did a little research on this when I was thinking about designing a barricade. And what happens is as a vehicle hits these, they tip up and they lift up the undercarriage of the vehicle so that the uh, wheels will come off the ground and it will slow down the vehicle more uh, successfully. Uh, once I realized um, how Jersey Barriers were designed, I realized why uh, try to improve on something that's pretty effective and uh, works well visually. So what I did is I modified it slightly by giving them a front side which is tipped slightly away from the uh, oncoming attackers and a more defensive rear facing one um, so that say blasts that are shot up will be ricocheted up and it'll help deflect a little bit of that energy and gives it a slightly jazzier look. Then um, I also wanted to create angled pieces and the angled pieces feature that profile as well. So there's two actually. Um, you can see here um, the two barriers um, Ha you know, if you try to arrange them like this, you can see how they're just slightly off in there. I don't know if you can actually see that in the video, um, but they're, you'll see them when you purchase them. They're just slightly off. Um, they do have a directional fit um, so that they make a nice smooth uh, transition. The barriers were designed to uh, be used with 28mm uh, models such as 40K models so that models, uh, it reaches... Uh, just about waist high for a uh, infantry, um, so that makes it for an easy shoot over from a hip firing shot. Um, see if I can give you a little close up there perspective. So that's about how high it reaches. So models don't have to be shoulder firing to look like they're firing over the barrier, and um, but still provide a fair amount of coverage. The other thing I wanted to do when I designed this set was to make it really inexpensive. I realized that I think people really would like something that looks a little nicer um, and is really flexible. So because these pieces are uh, uh, relatively short, it's easy to assemble them in a variety of patterns and you can um, purchase them relatively inexpensively and they're fairly easy for me to produce. That's where the real cost savings comes in. Um, but most of the barriers have some uh, kind of uh, battle damage put in. I put in some bullet holes. Um, some of them have more substantial blast marks, uh, chips and things like that out of the top. Um, and uh, these are painted pretty much by a dip method, so um, they have a really weathered, stained appearance that is uh, pretty natural looking and uh, gives them that gritty urban feel that uh, I think personally that they should have. So, um, anyway, just a real quick look at them, real explanation of how their uh, func form and function uh, work. And, uh, of course, if you want to see these with uh, close-up photos and um, uh, purchase options, you can always visit Terranscapes.com.